Hello friends, hello subscribers, hello first time viewers, welcome back to the channel or here for the first time if you are new. My name is Jay, I am a full time eBay reseller, which basically means in the easiest terms I buy people's stuff, I list it on eBay and I sell it 99.9% .9 of the time for a profit. Sometimes doesn't always go that way, but that is what we aim for and on this channel That's what you see. So in today's video, I'm actually doing a follow-up video from two years ago I did the same video uh, Two years ago, and it's actually the best performing video on the channel uh, And that basically gives you a full view of what I do and probably what most resellers do on an average day um, So we're gonna start pretty soon here uh, I'm going to show you this is my storage room where all the stock comes in and it stays here until it sells I'm going to show you me picking some orders that need to go out today uh, then we're going to head over to the other room which is my packing room I'm going to pack it all up show you how I do that I've got some inbound stock as well so that's really interesting I don't normally show that unless it's come from a video which it hasn't done uh, so I'm going to show you all of the stuff that I've had come in over the last day or so that's kind of taken up that room those will need to all be photographed today so I can get them listed and then later on in the video we're going to take a walk over to the drop-off point where I actually take all of my stock to uh, to drop it off so it can get shipped out so I'm going to set you up here right here so I can show you what I'm picking uh, my sales and uh, I'll give you an overview on if I can remember what I paid for them I'll let you know and uh, what they've sold for uh, so that's what we're going to start with today uh, so yeah let's get started shall we okay so without any faffing around as you can see this is the storage room I'm not sure how much you can see this probably hasn't changed much in two years other than the stock that is in here it's better stock than I had two years ago that is for sure and uh, it's probably a little bit more messy because I've got more of it uh, but yeah first item that we're picking today is this little Sabutio this hasn't sold for much uh, £6.99 this came in a big bundle I paid £30 for uh, yeah probably have about maybe six teams left five six teams left but yeah £6.99 this is sold for so again not masses of money on that one but uh, that is the first one going out today and uh, the next one is actually just over here right here we go this is the next one i think this may have came with a charger cable right i managed to find the uh the headphones they weren't attached to this i thought they would have been with this but they weren't um to be honest i don't remember where i got this from uh but it sold for 23 pounds so uh yeah that is in all of my sales are pretty much including shipping unless i say otherwise i pretty much always charge shipping on top of that price uh but yeah 23 pound plus shipping on that one that is good so i'll put that here right next up we have a lampshade which i've already brought across over into the packing room into the storage room sorry because this was on my shelf out there this is a 12 inch diameter tiffany tiffany style uh, ceiling light shade and apparently it's pearlescent leaded glass there we go so comes with all of the attachments ready to attach it to their ceiling um, i guess you could probably take this off if you wanted to make it a lampshade um you would need some sort of cap up here turn the wiring onto the inside i guess I, I don't know how that would work but you could probably make that a lampshade if you wanted to like for a desk lamp or something i don't know uh yes i paid trying to remember not much to be honest i think this one was six pound and i have a larger one that was ten pound anyway this was the smaller one and this is sold for 49.99 plus 7.99 shipping because this is quite heavy you know um so yeah very happy with that sale that is going to have to go in a box of course otherwise that's going to get damaged because um although the glass is quite strong it's a weak structure because it's only attached together with um lead and if you know anything about lead uh, you will know that it's weak it's very soft and um, yeah that will get smashed up right next up we have some foundation that has sold and it's either in one of two tubs I can't remember exactly which one I put it in I think it's in the one over here this one was only listed about three days ago that one has sold for 
$29.99 and I got this in a bundle from my contact so I probably would have only paid a pound or two for that. Uh, this retails at 35 uh, so they got £5 off basically and it's new and sealed and it has a 12 month life once you open it so that is good. Right next up we have a ashtray which is actually right here and I think one of my last if not last ashtrays I've not bought ashtrays in a long time but yeah this is a rare lambert and butler uh made by wade and of course this is a pack of cigarettes with i presume these are the two owners of i guess that's lambert and that's butler i would say uh but yeah i think i paid six pound for this eight pound for this this i've had this for a long time this was early last season uh car boot season i picked this up um it may have even been late end of the one before to be honest this has been listed for a long time uh but it's finally sold 25 pound plus four pound shipping happy to see this one finally go i've been sending out offers on this for god what seems for like ever um and it finally went so that'll be going off to a new loving caring home hopefully um right next up we've got some door handles uh these are antique black iron look uh handles and they've bought two of them uh, they're in my storage tub down here, so I will be right back. I am right back. Okay, so as you can see, I've got two boxes here. These are little iron handles. I don't know how well you're going to see them. They're all bagged up and whatnot. They have screws and stuff in there. Uh, these sold for £10 each, so £20 for the pair. I think, unless it's £20 each, but I don't think so. Yeah, £10 each, so they paid £20 plus postage on those. I'm happy for these to go because they've been floating around for a while uh, down there in the storage box. So it's a nice bit of extra space now in that box, which is really nice. Right, next up is a juicy one. Juicy, juicy, juicy. So let me get all three out to explain. It will make more sense. These are yo-yos. <laughs> and I paid £130 for these. Can you believe that? Uh, yeah, £130 for three yo-yos. This one here has sold for £120 plus £10 postage. Um, you may be wondering why the postage is so high. That does in include... The price uh, that I will pay for insuring this item so um, obviously both me and the buyer are then insured this is brand new this is from like the 90s um, and this is a really rare uh, yo-yo so this one pretty much pays for the three um, I believe this one is listed for £69 so that will be profit when that sells and I think this one's listed for like 50 um, so if you're into yo-yos these are on the store um feel free to send an offer through but these are the profit uh this one has brought me up to the line of profit which is nice to have my money back uh but yeah this one 120 pound for a yo-yo is absolutely insane um i had this up for 250 originally i genuinely thought it was gonna sell really quickly I, when i first listed it, it had like 30 watches and uh, no one bit the bullet and i just lowered it down 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 until it sold um, down to the point where I got my money back, which is fine because these two will sell. I've had offers on these two, which I have declined, um, which I know I will make my money. But yeah, I really genuinely thought this was going to go for around £200, but it didn't. But I got my money back, so I'm happy with that one. Uh, so I'm not saying this is a fail because that I will make money. But yeah, I really did think that that was going to bring more money. Just because of its condition, it's genuinely brand new in there. The, the metal is perfect. There's no chip scratches whoever's getting this yo-yo is going to be so happy i'm telling you so happy um right next up we've sold a bag a pack of raban bag which is actually on the floor so let's grab that right so this is a duffel bag sold for 10 pound i don't know if you can see this here is a pack of raban invictus so that is the brand of spray. And um, I guess this was just given to people. I, I don't know. I don't know. I thought it was something to do with the Invictus games originally because um, I think Prince Harry 
does a uh, as does like a, some sort of sporting event called the Invictus Games, and um, it's to help support veterans or disabled people or something. I'm not 100% sure, but this is definitely Paco Rabanne, it says it on the bag, so uh, yeah, £10 on that, so not massive amounts of money, but I think I paid a pound for it, so, and um, they actually left a note on that order saying, can I use every to ship it, which is shocking, because I normally get notes saying, don't use every, and then I have to explain that that's who I use, but yeah, right. We've sold the last box, I believe, of Strongbow Pub glasses. If you've been around for a long time, you will know that during the beginning of the first lockdown, I bought an entire pallet full, um, as in a pallet that goes on the back of a shipping container or back of a lorry, it gets delivered, bump, of brand new pint glasses uh, from a liquidated pub. So the pub went under during lockdown. I got the glasses, they were all brand new in boxes and I was selling them in pairs of two. I got fed up of doing that about a year ago, so I shoved all of the remaining boxes that were brand new up on eBay for a crazy reduced price. I think this is the last one. It's actually on the shelf out there, I'm not gonna go grab it for the sake of the video, I'll put a picture up for you. It's quite big, it's like this big, it's got 24 uh, Strongbow glasses in there and it sold for 25 pound plus 10 pound postage because it is heavy it's like just under 10 kilos i think um so yeah that's a good one uh anyway next up we sold a poly pocket which for the life of me i don't know where it is so i'm gonna have to do some digging around i have a specific pot where all my poly pockets are and i sold a bunch the other day and i think i may have accidentally sent this one in that package huh <sighs> yeah that happens sometimes but I'll sort it out. I'll have to message the customer if I can't find it and uh, see what we can do about that. But yeah, that only sold for £4 anyway, so it's not the end of the world. Uh, next up, we have a sale of a Sonic the Hedgehog Builder Bear, which is down here somewhere. So this is possibly the ugliest Sonic the Hedgehog plush you could purchase, but this is a Builder Bear, so there we go. I think I paid a pound for this last season and it sold for 10 so pound into 10 after fees you're looking at maybe five six pound profit um yeah it's not too bad it's gone which is the main thing it's now out of here so happy to see that one go right last but not least for sales for today we have a sonic again hedgehog master system game so let's grab that one here we go so this is the game in question this is also sold for 10 pound that's funny uh, it has someone's name on it here, Chris Ormetol. Ormetol. So, Chris Ormetol, if you're watching, I've got your game here, but not for long. It's getting sent out to someone. Um, but yeah, there we go. So, those are all my sales that are going out today, and uh, we're going to go pack them in a second. So, you'll get to see my shipping room and how that operates. And then, once we've done that, um, I'll put all those parcels to the side for a time being and then I'll go through all of my inbound stock So stuff that's not been photoed or listed yet uh, Which no one's seen yet. So uh, Yeah, I'll get to show that to you guys and then we'll go down the shop and drop these off and uh, you'll get to see me taking all my parcels to the shop and then uh, Yeah, we'll see what's happening after that Let's go. All right, so we're back. I've just had a spot of lunch real quick and we are now in the photography and packing room uh it's very messy in here right now i've had a lot come through here in the last week or so so everything is just out of place where it should be i've got stock on this shelf um that needs to be photoed i've got stock out there that needs to be photoed i've got stock here stock here cloves that i need to go through i've got a massive box up here that shouldn't be there uh but yeah, I'm going to spin you around and explain how this works, what I have, what I do, and all of that good stuff. So if I spin you around here, you'll see that I have my laptop here, my thermal printer, which I would say if you're doing two to five parcels every day um, consistently, a thermal printer will be something you're going to want to invest in uh, pretty quickly because a regular printer for your labels is going to cost you a lot of money in the long run. Uh, this thing is cheap as chips once you've got it. Um, you can get 2,000 labels for about 20 quid on Amazon. And uh, yeah, you just have to plug it in and, and it does the labels for you. And they're sticky, which is great. In my last video, two years ago, of the same name, uh, I didn't have this. This looks like a mess, but I'll explain it. This is my photograph booth. The, the cable is currently... Uh, 
come apart so I can't turn the light on I need to fix that in a second but yeah I do all my photos in here or up against this wall depending if it's clothes or not uh, but I didn't have this before behind here is some white uh, stuck to the wall which is where I used to do my photos on but it got dirty really quick and the lighting wasn't really good so I put this here in place this is where I used to do my packing right here but I now do it on this table here so I put my stuff in here then I take it here I pack it here um, I have boxes I have bags as you can see eBay boxes this is tape that I've just had come in uh, which is really good um, yeah so that's what I do part my stuff goes here then I move it to here I've got scales as well as you can see uh, which is really really handy and uh, this piece of wood here is actually so I can clip my camera on and film me when I'm doing uh, photographs um, for the videos so that's really interesting um, yeah I have to now try and find somewhere to put the camera I might clip you onto here and face you this way so you can watch me doing some uh, pack in here real quick and then we're going to go take these straight down to the shop so yeah let's go right so what we're going to do is we're going to get ebay up real quick and then we're going to get started on our pack in so let me talk about this tape real quick i've just had this come in uh, i'll put a link to this in the description so these are uh two inch wide uh, tape like the eBay tape that you buy. Let me see if I can find some eBay tape. Here's the comparable eBay tape uh, Two meters wide. It's the same length as this which I think is 66 meters. Uh, this obviously isn't a full roll um, And it's clear so there's no advertising on it at, at all. It's like sellotape, but this thing is incredible For 36 rolls of eBay tape. Let me tell you this about 66. I think it's 62 pound. I think something like that. It's over £60 for 36 rolls, which is absolutely incredibly expensive. Um, even if you have a £10 discount, which some people get with their store, uh, that's still £50-odd. Pound. This tape is better, let me tell you. I've just received this in, and I've actually done another order of about £100 worth. Um, so I have 256 of these rolls coming. Um, for 36 of these rolls... 20 pound delivered you're saving 40 pound with this tape and it's better than this tape this tape is awful it's not very sticky uh, it's really not strong so when it's on my thing here if i pull it like this if i did that with that tape a whole load would have come off Vroom, like that awful uh, this is a, it's fantastic honestly and it holds boxes together just so good you're going to see that in the video um the tape is just oh i'm so glad i found it honestly uh, i'll put the link to it in the description so you guys can go buy some i'm not affiliated it's not a sponsor it's just great tape and i'm so glad that i found it uh, which is why i bought a load of it so uh yeah right let's get ebay up right first item is uh, sabutio which is just going to go straight into here like this this is a padded mailer from ebay again all ebay's pack and supplies are overpriced um, i'm going to be fully moving away from ebay's pack and supplies this year so no more boxes no more tape uh no more poly bags and if you've never seen a label printer work before you're about to see it spit out a label in a second do you just press print and this thing will spit out my label like that I'm actually running low on the labels in there at the moment so I can't show you the front of the label because it's got the address on it but that's all you do like that and that becomes sticky and that's the first one done right that again will go in a poly mailer it doesn't need to go in anything more than that we'll disconnect it because we don't want the cable getting damaged in shipping The roll ran out. I told you I was at the end. So, goes under there. Clip. Dispense one. 
and now we're good to go again. Easy as that, no faffing around with paper, no faffing around with ink, smaller bag this time. So that one will just slip nicely in there. Like that. Right, I just had to go down and grab my HelloFresh box. Um, because I think that's gonna be big enough for that lampshade. Right. Put it on the floor for a second. We're gonna wrap this up. Let me shove some paper on the inside. I'm gonna take the bulb out. I don't ship bulbs. Ah, one other thing I recommend you having, craft paper. This is a 600 millimeter by 200 meter roll. And they cost about 15 pound per roll. They last you a while. They're great void fill padding. Uh, they save you a lot of money because you use this instead of bubble wrap for a lot of decorations. So that'll go through there like that. And that'll fill that gap. I don't even know if you can even see that. Hopefully you can. Well, I'm actually going to individually wrap that little... Uh, cable there so it doesn't wrap, rattle around and scratch the glass. So let me move that for a second. Put that like that. Wrap that up like so. That should stop that from clonking around, potentially doing some damage that we don't want it to do. So that is now wrapped sufficiently to protect it from any knocks that the box takes. So, like that. This box should be the perfect size. It's just a matter of which way we're gonna bag it. Box it, ah, like that. Okay, sideways, cool. So yeah. All that's going to go in here is more void fill. If I'd used bubble wrap for this, it would have been very expensive. Like so. Put that in there. Get its rough shape. Um, with stuff like this, you just want to make sure that nothing's touching the box when it comes to the glass. So make sure you uh, pack a lot of paper around. I actually have this paper as well, which is um, paper that I bought down a car boot. It's actually like um, meeting paper. If you've ever seen someone having an office meeting and they got that like paper whiteboard thing and they just like fold one over. That's what this is. And uh, it works a treat for getting down the side of stuff. Like that. Take this off. Again, look at that, look. One piece of tape and that's fully secure. <laughs> Oh, this tape. Honestly, it's so nice. Uh, amazing. Right, that's in there. Two and a half kilos and shake test. 
Nothing's rattling around. Easy peasy. Okay. Paper in Okay, so that is also under one kilo. So how long did that take? That took me 39 minutes to pack all of them. I'll spin you around and show you what we got. So we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten parcels done in 40 minutes. Right, we're gonna take them down the shop now and then when we get back, we're gonna look at some of the new stock that's pretty much everywhere in here because it's messy <laughs> all right so we're now off to the drop-off shop with the parcels we've just missed a torrential downpour as you can see everything's wet no helicopter flying over today unlike two years ago where I thought I was wanted man <laughs> you have to go back and watch the original video if you want to know what I'm talking about but yeah as you can see all the parcels loaded up in the trolley yep two years later i still don't drive so have to pull the trolley down the shop for about three months the beginning of this year the every man would just come pick them up from my house and scan them in but yeah they updated the system so we can't do that anymore well at least for now anyway um hopefully we can sort something out but for now at least i have to take them back down to the shop look at this tree it's like a white cherry blossom and they're all falling off. How amazing. Right, I'll uh, hook you up to my bag and uh, let's get to the shop. It's actually raining again. Fantastic. Let's get there before I get too wet, shall we? So here we have it, the infamous red letterbox from the last video, two years ago. I don't use that letterbox anymore, I don't use Royal Mail, but I thought I'd better include it in the video just for throwback sake. Yeah, Royal Mail are a pain in the ass. So we just use Hermes now, or every. Right, here's the shop of a yappy dog out the front. Thank you very much. Cheers. Do this 
Those Costa coffee machines actually make an acceptable brew. All right, so we're now back from taking the parcels down. The next thing on the agenda is to go through these lightsabers. Uh, I picked these all up at one car boot and all of these cost me 20 pounds. So uh, we got two extendable ones here. These are Darth Maul ones. Um, I think there might be a release button here for the I don't know how that other side comes out. How does that other side come out? There we go. So this one does not have batteries. So that one is okay. That one also is the same. This one I think takes batteries. Oh, okay. That one works. Uh, I'm not sure whether this one has a light in it. Can't really tell, so I'll have to double check on that one. Uh, but these are the ones I'm concerned about because these are the expensive ones. These go for like £30 each uh, around there, give or take, depending on the style. So we've got two of these ones here, which are the Kylo Ren lightsabers, and then four of these other ones, which will be over green, blue, or whatever colour they, they are. So that one, no power as of yet. This one no power so the batteries will need to be checked no power um, i'm fully thinking that some of these may not work but hopefully the majority do no power on that one ah okay that one works kind of the light does not look like it goes all the way down the sound is also very quiet so that might just be a battery an old battery issue hopefully um let me just turn the lights out quick and see if that light goes all the way there with me. no okay so the light is only getting to here so that may be a damaged led uh but that's not too much of a problem that will still sell like that someone will buy this on on the cheap uh but that may just be a battery problem but i doubt it so yeah let's get the screwdriver out and see if we can uh, power some of these up, shall we? Right, okay, so this one's doing my head in. So we'll power that down. Get my screwdriver, which is here. I should have some batteries around here as well. So let's take a look. This one is a screw socket here. So let's open this up. Uh -huh. Okay, so we do have some leakage going on, which surprises me that it even works at all i don't know if you can see that a little bit of leaking going on there the mess is only here it's not anywhere else so i don't actually have any alcohol um to clean that off with trusty costco batteries of course because they're cheap let's have a look okay it's louder but the light still only goes halfway. So I think that's just a damaged LED. Uh, what's happened is they've obviously whacked it too hard and the connection here is obviously broken. So, okay. I'll leave those batteries in for now because when I do photos, I will want to be checking 
that I know which one is which. Yep, the sound is definitely a lot louder on this now though, which is nice. Okay. Yep, look at that. Ooh. It's worse than the last one. This one may not work. And we have nothing. Okay, so what I'm actually probably going to end up doing, this one doesn't work due to the battery compartment. However, the LED in here may still work. So what I'm going to do is probably take this apart and replace the LED from this one into the other one. And then hopefully I'll have one working unit then. It was lighter than the other one, it's weird. All right, let's crack this open. Oh, rather rusty. Let me just crack some batteries in here to begin with. I don't think this will turn straight on because it's very rusty, but we may get lucky. And then I can clean it up afterwards. Let's have a look. Ah, there we go. See, that's what it's supposed to look like. All the way to the end. Okay, that's good. So that little bit of rust is obviously not making an issue. So I'm just going to leave that for now. Um, it's working, so... I'm not going to faff around with trying to fix anything. We don't need to do that. So that is a fully working machine. I may scrape a little bit off of it before I list it, just so in the future, hopefully, it doesn't affect anything. But right, I'll put that one down here because that's a fully working one. So that's one out of three, and hopefully, two out of three once we fix the other one over there. So. Right, this is a Kylo Ren lightsaber, as far as I'm aware. It is turned on, and it's not coming on, so it feels very light, so I presume there's no batteries in here. If they've taken the batteries out, it's usually because they already know that it's leaked, um, which is the case here as well. There's some leakage going on over here. Oh, right. Turn on, yeah, no power, nothing, it's definitely turned on, okay, so I think I can probably get this one working with a little bit of scraping of those contacts, because I think there is no electrical contact there due to the rust in there. Right, test number two. Let's have a look here. Right, so this is a flat. Minus, minus. And a minus. Aha, there we go. There we go, perfect. Sweet. Okay, so that one is now fully working. That is good. Um, I will put some images on screen, hopefully, that will show how much these are going to sell for, roughly, so you have a good idea on this. But like I said, I've spent £20 on all of these. So we now have two fully working, one that I can repair. Maybe I'll make a video on repairing that lightsaber. Right, this one's a little bit more heavy, so... Ah! Well, there we go. All I had to do was turn the switch on. Fully working. I am going to open it up, though, because I believe the batteries may be uh, leaking in there or something. I want to check. So, because these are the batteries left in there by the, cust the person that sold it to me, I just want to make sure they're not all garbonzo. But no, look at that. Perfect. Just move that spring. Don't know why that spring's a little bit bent, but there we go, look, perfect. Batteries, I'm just gonna leave those batteries in there. They're not gonna leak. They're in good condition. It's in a really nice condition as well. So that is three out of five working. Well, three and a half, because that one works a little bit. Right, this one again, I think there's batteries in here. Now, I will point out that the person that sold me that broken one did tell me that they didn't think it worked. So it's not like they told me it would work. I just bought it anyway. As you can see, we got rust here, here. Half of this holder here is snapped off. That looks like it's been melted. 
by the acid, which is not good. Like you saw before, sometimes it just literally just comes down to the tiniest bit of contact being freed up. That's the best I'm going to do with the tools currently available. Shop this. Oh, I hate it when these things are broken. And nothing. Nothing at all. Ah! There we go. It does work. I just have to spin it around for a bit of a better connection. Right, let me... Uh, screw this back in before this falls apart and wave it around a bit and see if the connections are good enough and then I'm gonna have to wash my thumb because I can feel acid burning through my thumb. Ow. Okay good. That is fine. I'm gonna leave those batteries in there. So we now have four working, one half working. There is a light in the end. I was wrong. So that one there is fully working. Again I'll leave the battery in so I can take photos of that in a bit and that leaves us with these two which don't take batteries at all so we're good to go we've only got two that don't work and I will be fixing one of them so I'll leave those here for now because I will be fixing those later Right, now we've looked at the lightsabers, I'm going to uh, do some photos in the booth and I'm going to bring you along with me so you can see what we're going to be photoing today. Right, lovely nice pair of A6. Paid £10 for these, they're pretty much brand new by the looks of them. Hardly been worn. Happy to pay a tenner for these. What I'm photoing next is a uh, Smeg kettle that I paid £5 for. And uh, I just thought, oh, while I'm cleaning it, I'd better test it first, because there's no point washing it all and making it look nice if, after all that, it doesn't turn on. Tested it, didn't work. Um, so I thought, oh, I'll have a look at the fuse. You know, that's the first thing to check. See if anything's blown in there. And it looks perfectly fine. So I took the fuse out, had a look, put it back in turned it on again and it works perfectly fine now so it must have just been a little bit of the loose fuse uh going on there so that's good so we're gonna get some photos of that i've cleaned it all up nicely so here it is there is the base and there is the kettle so it's in pretty decent condition um to be honest there's a few little scratches it's you know it's not in perfect condition it's obviously had a life and um yeah needs descaling on the inside but it works it boils water which is what you want it for so yeah nice little photos i'm actually gonna weave the has this thing on the bottom so you can weave the cable around it which is nice for storage so he's having the cable flapping around on the shelf everywhere so let's put that like that next item to be photographed is a xbox guitar hero guitar obviously this is how i always do photos it doesn't fit in my booth otherwise if i do it connected with the with the neck attached so i just simply take it apart like this and it works pretty well now this keep this keyboard this guitar does have a uh, pretty manky um battery compartment and i don't have a 360 to test whether this actually connects so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a photo and I'll list it as spares or repairs with a uh, bad connection or bad battery compartment. And it may just work. Um, but just in case it doesn't, it will be listed like that. This is a cool little one. I got this uh, yesterday. 
This is a little uh, music box. Paid four pound, and this is actually a uh, like a what is this? Like a street? I don't really know. Cable car? It says cable car, but it's not got a cable on it. Pretty cool. So you've got to get photos of that. I bought this because I thought it was cool, not because I thought I'd make money on it, but um, when I do that, it usually means I'm going to make money. Because if I think it's cool, then maybe other people do as well. San Francisco. Right, hopefully that stops playing music soon. There we go. Right, got a couple of games. Five pound I paid each for these in the charity shop, which is very rare I find or even buy games anymore. Um, I believe this one goes for about 12 to 15. That one goes for about eight to 10. So not massive money, but uh, they will sell. Um, I might just put these together to be honest and do like 25 quid. That's actually what I'm going to do. Hopefully they sell pretty quick. Get them in, get them out. Make some money. Okay. Polaroid Super Color. Picked this up yesterday. For three pound down the car boot. This one actually goes for around 35 quid, I believe. So we got the box, we got the camera, and we got the original manual and stuff, which all helps. Looks like it's in pretty decent condition, so we'll snap some shots. Uh, how do I open this? There we go. Open her up like that. Very nice. Make sure the compartment with the uh, film in. It's actually got some film in there. It's an empty compartment. I'll throw that away, take a picture inside there so they know that it's clean. Have a look through here to make sure there's no mold on the lens. We're good. I wonder if I can show you. Ah, no. <laughs> the ISO just went crazy. Okay. Right, we'll push that back down like that. Cool. These are really nice trainers. Um, I could have put them through the washing machine, but I don't want to risk damaging them in any way. I'll let someone else do the washing. Plus, they'll get them a little bit cheaper because they're not clean, which is fine by me. So I need to get a little bit of... Uh, bubbles in there and then one of the ticket do the inside of the tongue one of the label so we know what we're listing and they're done have this little uh, brass buckle here solid brass by BTS not the uh, the K-pop band BTS, but it's made in America and it's made of brass. And this is actually leather. It's quite weird. Not gonna lie. But there we go. Monty Python. Paid a quid for that. Don't frequently buy DVDs, but for a quid, it's
it's sealed, giving it a go. Hopefully it's a quick turnaround. Now we got some uh, female spray, brand new in the box. The only reason I got this was it because it helped me get another item cheaper in the deal. Oh, sugar. That's not good. There we go. So yeah, I bulked this together with another item you're about to see. And it just helped me get it a bit cheaper, so. There we go. Is a Bushnell pair of binoculars. I need a little bit of a wipe down. So I paid 35 for this and the other item together. It would have been 45 otherwise. But put them together and said, would you take? And they said, sure. So that's what I did. Don't be afraid to buy female products. They do sell. The binoculars, like that. So I believe these go for about 60 to 80. So that'll be nice if we can get that. So I bought this and I've forgotten what it is. How do I open it? I forgot. Uh, there we go. So we got this up here, that down there. Those are the three board game that you can play and all the pieces. Cool. Some nice funky shoes next. I paid 20 quid for these down the car boot. So these are Merl Mer Melvin and Hamilton Extra Flex. They've never been worn. They've got quality control stickers. Um, and they got carpet inside. <laughs> they got carpet inside. How crazy. Um, but yeah, 20 quid I paid for these. I took a chance. Some of these are really expensive, but I don't know if these are going to bring decent money. I can only hope so i will list these high well i've got to see if i can find the uh, original price of course but we'll see so i bought these in the charity shop and they're a pound each so i paid two pound for these which is crazy so i'm gonna have to find a courier that takes 15 kilos I'm sure i'll be fine Right, next up we've got a car part. Oh, that's heavy as well. So this is an axle from a car, and I don't know what car it's from. Ah, here we go, on the end. Right. So, we have a drive shaft, sorry, one piece. Uh, doesn't tell me what vehicle it's from. So there you go, as you can see, brand new. I think this goes for like 100, 150. So that'll be nice. An all-in-one brew kit and cup at the same time. I say brew kit, it's for tea. So instead of having a separate teapot, the cup is the teapot, which to me makes perfect sense. Right, so there's the teapot, I mean there's the cup, and then the teapot bit goes inside the middle so the leaves don't come into your tea, into your drink. And there's a little cup for your milk, perfect! If it don't sell, I'm going to use it. Right, I think that's everything. I'm going to be able to photo right now. The rest, there's a few bits here uh, that I need to go through. Cloves, cloves in there, cloves here. Uh, all of this vintage action man. Um, I've got so much stuff. I still need to do these. This is another video that's in the works. Um, some brand new Uggs, this thing. So much stuff. Uh, but I need to get on. I need to get some listings done today. So... I'm going to send all these photos to my computer now. 
get some listings done. But yeah, thank you so much for watching. Hopefully you've enjoyed today's video. If you have, please like, subscribe. If you haven't watched the video uh, that this is kind of similar to from two years ago, the link will be in the description and it will be popping up at the end. Uh, go watch that one and you'll see how I operated two years ago. It's fairly similar, but also pretty different. So thanks for watching. Take care. See you in the next one. Bye. Love.